Look what arrived. My Hobie review yarn. It's Gary from Urban Yarn here. This dedicated video is going to be talking about the Hobie review yarn that they sent me so generously. A couple weeks back, they reached out sending me a list of things to choose from on their website. And I chose four different items that I'm going to be talking about through the course of February. So today, it being February the 4th, 2022, this arrived all the way from Denmark to me in Canada. It took two weeks and I'm really excited about it. So let's jump into cracking into this bag, looking at the yarn and making something fun with it. I was really excited to see this yarn here on the list that I could choose from and it's Hobie's Metallico. A very, very popular yarn and I wanted to give it a go. So it has that pearlescent shimmer to it. This color that I'm holding right here is color 14, which is called Copper. On the website to date, February 2022, there are 18 colors ranging from the rainbow style, mother of pearl kind of colorways, all the way to the earthy tones like this one here, which is a copper color. Let me tell you a little bit about the yarn and what I'm thinking of doing with it. So the contents of this yarn is 70% polyamide, 21% acrylic and 9% merino wool. It is a 50 gram ball and in that you get 115 meters. It is Oco Tech standard approved, considered a four weight, but I would say treat this chain spun yarn as a three weight. I will be pairing it with a large hook to get a nice drape. And here it says to care for it by hand washing, lay flat to dry, and it is a yarn that is produced and manufactured in Turkey uh, with love from Denmark. So I absolutely can't wait to try this. Hobie was so generous to give me the yarn for the full project. So I got eight balls of this and I'm going to be checking for stitch definition, how well it frogs back in the project. Oh, look at this yarn here. Okay, this was on the list and I really wanted to try it out. So I can't wait to try this yarn. It is the Hobie Winter Glow. Look at the color of that amazing yarn. It variegates the miles between the spicy colors, reminiscent of like a Persian rug or a tapestry. I absolutely love it. On the website, I see here that they have 30 wonderful color arrangements. This one is color number two. Absolutely love it. They are classifying this as a four weight yarn. It does rove from, I'm gonna say a thinner, sort of like two, three-ish weight, all the way to a four, but more of a lighter weight overall. This yarn is 51% wool, 49% acrylic. They say that you can machine wash this and lay flat to dry, but I would say after working up a lovely scarf or a shawl that you spent lots of time with, that I would probably hand wash this yarn. Uh, it does have a little bit of a rustic feel to it, like a tooth, but I think maybe after a wash and wear that this will soften up wonderfully. Uh, I would say that I would wear this against my skin with no problems, no undergarments required. Now, let me tell you how much you get in this whopping size here. 200 grams gives me 700 meters or 766 yards. It is a yarn that is made in Italy and designed in Denmark. I got it in a couple of different colors because what I'm thinking of doing is doing a type of chevron scarf wrap in crochet. And I'll show you the other colors that I got. This one is number four here. And these ones are more of the greens in all different values, but more of a lighter tone overall than the first one I showed you. So we have mint, sage, a little bit of turquoise, some yellow in there as well. And I absolutely like that one as well. This color is number 17. And this one here is more of the middle tone ranges between the two here. This one is more pastel -y. This one is a darker, of a rich variety. And now this one sits in the middle. And we have oranges, we have uh, purple, and we have some, what looks to be a green to me as well. Absolutely love these. What an amazing 
collection. Enough for me to make a big project. Thank you, Hobie, for sending me this Dolce Cashmere cake. And I absolutely love the gray color. It's one that I chose because it's very classic. It runs from a light gray all the way to a mid gray. It's color number three. There are 17 colors to choose from as of this date, ranging from bright rainbow colors all the way to this lovely classic neutral. And let me tell you a little bit about the yarn. It is 65% superwash virgin wool, 25% polyamide, 10% cashmere. There are 200 grams in this cake, offering up 770 meters or 842 yards. The website saying it's a sport classification, which is a number two. Ball band says it's a super fine number one. I would agree. It's somewhere in the middle of both of those. It is a yarn that is made in Italy, but designed in Denmark. The care instructions for this is to hand wash and lay flat to dry. I have some ideas to knit, knit this up to check to see whether it splits, how well it holds up in stitch definition. I've seen on their website that they have amazing patterns of inspiration to choose from, and a lot of them are wraps, shawls, or scarves. Next up is a yarn that I'm super familiar with. It's called the Butterfly Collection. I purchased a few of my favorite colors recently in an unbagging, and Hobie were generous enough to send me this one skein here in my favorite color. It is color 13. Cloudless Sulfur, and it goes from a beigey ivory color all the way to a mustard. I love the squishiness, the sheen, the high twist, but I will be looking to create something where I'm going to be testing out stitch definition as well as how well that twist holds up, whether it splits. Now on the website, it says that there are 14 amazing color choices, ranging from a bright rainbow gradient all the way through to a classic gray ombre. And I absolutely love this color that I have. I'll tell you a little bit about the yarn. It is 100% premium acrylic. In the ball, you get 200 grams, 500 meters, 547 yards. It is classified a three weight or a light DK. You can machine wash this yarn as well as low tumble dry or lay flat. It is a Oko Tech standard approved yarn, designed in Denmark, but made in Turkey. I think I might knit this. I'm not sure whether it's gonna have a color work or whether it's just gonna be some textural stitch, but can't wait to try that. Thank you, Hobie. And I hope that you'll all join me in on the fun in February. Time to get started working with this wonderful yarn. Here I'm trying out the Metallico yarn in the Dream and Shine Scarf Crochet Pattern by Morbin, found on Hobie's site. I'll add the link in the description box below to this free pattern. The halo on this yarn did have some drag on my metal crochet hook, but after I found my rhythm, the squeaking stopped and I was well on my way, and it didn't split. I'm using a 5mm hook and it's helping to produce this wonderfully squishy fabric. And the shine on it is amazing. So the stitches are working up well defined. In this pattern, I'm using double crochet stitches as well as a new to me stitch called the X stitch or the cross stitch. Look at the shine on it. Frogging the work stitches was a bit sticky, but on a scale of one to five, five being the best for frogging, the Metallico rated a three, somewhere in the middle. One of the exciting yarns I wanted to try out was the Winter Glow in the Variegated Collection. They do have it in solids as well, but the price and the amount of yarn in the ball is different. My yarn play on this day was working on a filet crochet mock chevron wrap. No pattern, just me working spontaneously and improvising on the fly. Once I got the filet crochet down, it was a matter of counting. The yarn works up great in simple stitches. Here it's mainly double crochet and the occasional seed or linen stitch rows to separate sections. The real show-stopping attribute to this collection is the colors. They're perfect for boho chic projects 
And I've picked colors that have Southwest feels to them and use a color palette of earthy and rich tones. Mmm, yep, I love it so much. Unraveling this yarn was a little bit of a careful process. It did catch up on itself often, so I'm giving it a frogging friendly rating of two out of five. The perfect way to start off my Valentine's Day is to play with some yarn. Here I'm knitting to a pattern called Array by Shibui Knits. It is a knitted cow pattern and I am a few days into the project. The project uses two color slip stitching and I've chosen the butterfly in the color Cloudless Sulphur and the Dolce Cashmere in this classic gray color. Both yarns are playing together like two besties and have soft qualities that bounce off each other. The butterfly brings the shine and sleek to the fabric while the Dolce Cashmere diffuses it in sophistication. Both yarns run very smoothly through my fingers. What I discovered using the butterfly yarn was that it did split a few times, possibly because I was using very sharp tipped knitting needles, but once I replaced them with a more duller tip, the problem went away. There were no issues with frogging both the butterfly and the Dolce cashmere yarns, so I'm giving it five out of five for the best yarns to frog. Just the tip of you using the butterfly yarn, it does come in a loosely wound ball. I avoided the center pull because I was fearful that it would collapse and tangle in on itself. So I pulled from the outside and I used a yarn ball, trying not to transport it around very much because it does fall apart as you're using it. Thank you for joining me on Urban Yarn in my month of February, reviewing the Hobie yarn that they generously sent me. I will be showcasing the finished items in a podcast in February, so be on the lookout for that. All links have been provided in the description box below on each of the Hobie review items. These are affiliated links, I just wanted to let you know. If you do use them, there is no expense to you. I may get some kickbacks on this, but it'll be very small and it'll go back directly into the channel. So I wanna say thank you if you do use the links for supporting the efforts here on Urban Yarn.